Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing some famous and underrated slime shops and I really hope that you enjoy it. First up we have Beaver Slime with that iconic snack pack and if you don't know what a snack pack is, it's basically a chocolate pudding so they include a really cute metal charm. It's super heavy and good quality just to scoop up the chocolate with and it's so much fun to play with. This creates really good clicks as well but the slime itself is just wonderful. It's so so glossy and really soft and I find that a lot of thick slimes at the moment have quite a rubbery feel and I like that because it is really holdable but this is just wonderful to play with. It smells just like a chocolate pudding and it inflates so much. Vanilla has the exact same texture as the snack pack original, it's just a different flavour and also colour. And this to me smells like ice cream and again comes with the spoon, super super clicky and I love the bubble crunches this one gives. I think I overactivated this one slightly and then let it melt. Supernova Girl is one of the most beautiful signs I've ever seen but it also has the best scent. It's scented like cherry and blue raspberry which is a mixture I don't think I've smelt before because I couldn't stop smelling this and this is a really gorgeous cloud slime. It isn't the most drizzly but it's definitely one of the most beautiful I have. It's covered in like nail confetti I think it is and it comes in two different colours which then mixes to give a kind of dulled purple colour. I don't really mind this because I find that when it sits it becomes more bright again for some reason and it also has this gorgeous star charm which is just a lovely touch. When I'm reviewing slimes, I always start off with the slimes I think I'll like the most, just because I find this the easiest to film. And when I read the name for this one, I instantly thought it was gonna be a jelly, kind of like icy slime, which is my least favorite texture. So I was leaving it last, and I was really pleasantly surprised when it actually wasn't that texture. It might have a base of those things, but it mainly has fake plastic snow in it, and also some foam beads, so it's a really interesting texture. And again, this smells amazing, like all of her slimes do, is blue raspberry, and oh, it's just amazing, so, so lovely. I feel like this is such a rave review, but I can't stop saying good things about her slime. And the thing I really loved about this is you get to add the glitter and also the charm in yourself. And I know a lot of people let you add in the charm, but hardly any let you add in the glitter. So it just makes it so much more fun. And the slime itself was really sizzly to begin with. And then when you took it out, it's just super soft and creamy. And the scent for this, let me talk about the scent. This is amazing. It smells just like pineapple, which I think is such an underrated scent in slime. I think I have two slimes that are scented like pineapple in my collection of over 600 slimes. So you guys need to start using pineapple scents more because they are amazing. It's so fresh and I just thought this slime was awesome. So soft and so spreadable.
Chosen was good, but it wasn't one of my favorites. And I don't know if that's just because the rest of her slimes were so good. And this was just like a normal level of good. There was nothing wrong with it. Don't get me wrong. It was just a really nice slime, but not my personal preference. I think that's what the problem was. It's a really silky clay slime. It isn't a Daiso one, I don't think. It kind of has a rubbery feel to it, but it's not bad. Like, I think a lot of people would like this. It's very holdable. It smells amazing. It smells like um aftershave, like men's aftershave, but a sweeter version of that. And it comes with a lot of hollow glitters. I actually had to activate this because it came a bit melted, but it came with a huge layer of hollow at the bottom. Everything came really well secured and packaged. The only thing that leaked a tiny bit was Choco Pud, but I think it's just because she filled it to the absolute brim because quite a lot fell out. And as you can see, there was still loads left. She gave me a Daiso cube, a letter, some classic extras with like borax, a care sheet, some sweets, and also some cute little Bieber stickers, which I really love. I can't believe I've been doing these reviews for over a year now, but about a year ago, I reviewed all these slimes and everyone's been asking for her slimes to be reviewed again because she just keeps improving. And first up, we have Cow Cream. This is so thick just so so thick really glossy it does have a bit of a rubbery feel to it but personally I don't mind that I really like thick slimes and this is one that I really like but I know that some people just like soft slime so this wouldn't be great for you kind of has like a sweet cream scent I would say and it's really inflating This has improved so much since I last tried it. I liked it when I last tried it, but I didn't think it was anything amazing, but this is just amazing. It's so thick, so soft, and the smell is just like lemon poppy seed batter. I found the last one smelled a bit like lemon curd looking back on it, but this smell, you just can't stop smelling. The glitters don't leak in my opinion, and like you can see, it's just so soft. And the first clip, it was a bit overactivated, but in this one, it's fully melted down and just so creamy and lovely to play with. I just can't rave about this one enough. This is definitely one of my top 15 slimes. And I say that, but just because I've tried so many shops and there are so many amazing ones, but this is just really special. The only thing is that as you can see here, the glitter falls out on the table a bit. But personally to me, that isn't an issue at all when the slime is this good. For extras, she included an I Love Aldi slime band and also some borax and a care sheet. Next up we have Dr. J's Slime Shop and the first slime I reached for was Spidey Man just because I thought it was super creative and I love the colours of this. At first they were just the colours of Spider Man but when you mix them they turn into a deep purple. And my favourite most unusual unexpected thing about the scent was that it was fresh apple. For some reason I was just expecting like a typical kind of deep and dark smell for Spider Man but it was really really refreshing. My one criticism of this slime is that it's quite dense but I've spoken to him and he's reformulated and said it's really light and airy now Snack the Sparse Back definitely has to be my favourite slime from him. It was just so clicky and so glossy and I don't know how he kept it this glossy. Throughout the whole time I was playing with it, it stayed this shiny. Even when it was really inflated, if you folded it over, it was still glossy. So he must have like a super secret ingredient. And the really awesome thing about this as well is it's scented like cheesecake, which I find is quite an uncommon scent. And I really love the pairing of the colour and the scent. Mr. 
Mystical Monkey Fur was probably my least favourite slime he sent me. It was still really good, don't get me wrong, but this slime was dense, dense, dense. It was just so, so thick. And I found that even when you stretch it out, you had to use really long arms to get it to this drizzly texture. And it does drizzle really well. And it's a really gorgeous pink and has one of my favourite scents. It's the pink sugar scent, which to me just smells like a really sweet women's perfume, which I am a big fan of. And this is just really doughy. That's the one criticism I have. The slime in itself is beautiful, but just the formula and like he's told me he has reformulated so I hope now that it's a lot lighter and then it would just be perfect. Blueberry Raspberry Taffy is so, so nice to play with. It is a clay slime. I don't think it uses Daiso, but this is really silky. And I think it might have a um, clear base. I found that this was really shiny, which is what makes me say that. But it was just really lovely texture. I just kept reaching for it. It was very soft, smelt like blue raspberry, like the name suggests, very vibrant in color as well, and very spreadable. Sorbet was probably my favourite cloud slime he sent and I think this has a slightly different formula because as you can see this is a lot more loose and it comes with two colours. It was actually very vibrant to pick up on camera so it kind of looks fluorescent. It's less like this in real life but it's very vibrant, very soft to play with as well. So if he has reformulated it it will be to perfection. This drizzled amazingly and it's not like a bomba sorbet like the name suggests. When there's a package that I've left for more than two weeks containing a clear slime, I always fear to touch it because I think it's going to be melted. But I found that this slime had not melted. It was so thick. I think it probably has glycerin in it, but I just found that it really lasted a long time. And no matter how long you left it, if it was a month, it would still stay in perfect condition. This is a shot of it being kind of cloudy because I'd played with it before, but it comes really clear. If you guys are regular viewers of my channel, you will know how obsessed I am with cherry flavoured things. So when I saw this slime, I was so excited and the smell was amazing. It smells just like a cherry snow cone. The one big criticism I have of this slime is just, it is weird because the slime itself isn't overactivated. I think it's just because there's such a thick layer of beads that you can't actually play with it in the container. You have to take it out because I found that when I was trying to push my fingers into it, it just wasn't working. It was chipping my nail polish. It was very tough. But then once it's all stretched out, it's it's very nice to play with with bubbles, but it isn't great if you just want to, in my opinion, play with it in your palm of your hand unless it's super inflated because it is very tough. Nebula did melt down a bit and this is completely my fault because I left this package for a while but this is a gorgeous texture. It was so crunchy. I was so shocked and impressed by this and it comes in three beautiful colours but I did find when it was mixed it wasn't the best colour pairing. It did kind of look like a sugar body scrub I would say but to me this just isn't a very pretty slime 
but the texture is fantastic. So if you don't mind how it looks, I would really recommend this slime. It has the best crunches, which I really like. I love the scent. It's rainbow sherbet and it's just, it's just a great textured slime. It's just the color that was a bit of an issue for me. extras he included two squishies, loads of sweets and two instruction packs of how to activate your slime for the melts down and also two borax packs. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope that you enjoyed it, I'll be back on Friday with another video and I hope to see you there, thank you again so much for watching and I will see you very soon.